Hi there, so I'm back. I um, literally have spent all weekend crafting, which really feels kind of good. I haven't done this in a while. Anyway, I um, have been working on some other task boxes or and other activities, and thought I would show some of those real fast. I have a transportation puzzle and I cut it into four pieces, so, and that's in a bag. I also, oh, and how I did that really was I printed a picture off that I hoped that the student was gonna like, and I glued it onto cardboard. Um, this is another one, uh, it's a transportation uh, picture, and I cut it into two pieces, again, because I'm not really sure uh, with my student or if I use these as a trial with another student. I'm not really sure how many puzzle pieces they can work with. Uh, here's another one I did. I cut into three pieces, different shapes. And this one is a little unique because instead of using cardboard, I mounted it on foam uh, adhesive, foam, foam paper it's called. That was really cool. I don't think I'd ever worked with that before. While I'm on puzzles, I also have um, one uh, winter scene. I cut in three vertical stripes, and I was looking for a while, like where, what kind of box or where could I put this in? And I found a Ziploc box that we were just about finished with. And looky there, it fits perfectly. Um, this is what I've come up so far for my straw put in. So that's kind of cool. Like I said, uh, this is, you know, they're going to, the student is going to pick out straw, put it inside. Then this is, um, a little put in box activity, uh, paper towel roll cut into pieces. And so there's a big spot. There'll be a bunch here and then the student will just drop them into the smaller spot. Anyway, so I have some more ideas, but I also still want to set up um, like a little card that says like one, two, three, done, and um, paint probably the done or all finished box. Still working on that. Anyway, um, again, enjoy and thank you for watching.